So I've already set up my tent inside the, uh, the elephant sanctuary yesterday or conservation area. But some of the minders there kind of told me I couldn't stay there. With reason, obviously, um, there, there are elephants, many elephants that roam around the whole area. They, they even go to the highway, apparently. So they're quite worried that if something breaks up, they might stump me. They propose another place, which is a police station. <laughs> Very nice. And police named Wat is kindly enough to offer me a spot. Very nice of him. Um, offered me everything, like toilet, obviously, uh, showers and coffee and all that. They even covered the lights for me so that it's not too blaring for, for me when, when I'm sleeping. It's pretty cool. So it's literally here, as you can see. Now, the only problem though is that up until probably around 11, 11.30, this road's super, super busy. There's a lot of cars and trucks. And then this morning, around 4.30 or so, the cars or the trucks started going again. And it's quite annoying. It literally woke me up. So, as you can see there, those are the trucks. Super busy. These things are loud. Now, as I go on straight on to Lampang, that's the road I'm gonna take again. There's no traffic, really. I mean, um, there are motorbikes that's passing by me, but they're not a competition, really, because I'm gonna carry on to this place called Utaradit. Utaradit is probably another 100 kilometers away. It's quite far on the map, so I don't know how, how far I'm gonna get on today. Especially nowadays that the road's getting hotter. There's a lot less of them here than it is in Chiang Mai or Pai. It's gonna be very, very long. I mean, here to Lampang, I think we're looking at another 15 kilometers or so. I'm taking matters into my hand because um, I keep dropping by um, the Carinderias or like little eating places and they seem to have no um, vegetable options, you know. I just put down on, on the Google Translate, Google's with no meat and they always say no. Little things like this, I think this, this would help a lot. Yeah, I haven't been eating vegetables properly in re recently, so yeah, this is quick, just boil them and then eat it with rice or noodles or probably some of the greens, greens that I brought from Portugal. So yeah, it'd be nice. Promise. <laughs> And then Laos, very far. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. I think we can go side by side. So how many kilometers are you cycling today? Morning. Oh, okay, okay. That building there? That building and inside there are three pillars because evidently Lampang was founded in three different places. Okay. So people go to, you know, to uh, um, honor the founding. And they put it on right, is that the way you want it? Yeah. 
find that this um, teak house is about 70 years old and the owner of this Hong, which she bought for about 40 years ago so just one bedroom there and there's another bedroom on that side over there this is amazing I mean I've, I've never expected to, to stay in a, one of these teak house in Thailand because mo most houses here are like quite modern in a way so whenever you see houses like this you know it's you know it's very old everything is made of this um, teak wood pretty impressive actually so this is what open space living is all about imagine 70 years ago the Thai people already figured it out That was a fun ride. Four of them. Four of those things, okay. Before Utana did four, four mountains. Oh, maybe uh, 50. <laughs> a lot, huh? Uh, yeah. That's a fun ride, I like that. We're like cruising. I think we're doing 44, 45 kilometers. Oh yeah, that's Yeah, that was nice. I think we're safer. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Thank you very much, Paul. Okay. <laughs> again. Yeah, say so, uh, my regards again to uh, okay, okay. Ju Judith. Bye, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. So today is quite an eventful day. I've woken up about 5.29 or so. I had a coffee with Judith and Pong. And then we've left the house probably around 6 o'clock. So it was about a good uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's about 4 hours of cycling. Covered about 35 um, kilometers today. It's very good, very good distance. It's not a lot of hills. It's only in the last kind of five kilometers until this point where I am right now um, where there's been a little bit of hills. It was quite fun this morning actually because um, Pong joined me for, for a bit of a ride. Kind of guided me out of Lampang into the motorway so he, he covered about 25 kilometers before he decided to um, turn around and go back home. So it was a fun ride. Um, yeah, shout out to Pong. He's, he's been very kind <laughs> and he also gave me a parting gift which is like a, a protein bar he kind of scared me that there's gonna be a lot of mountains yes there's a lot of mountain and steep but honestly it hasn't been that bad so far um it's, it's a kind of a slow gradient it's not as tough as it was in let's say you know from chiang mai to pai obviously i still have a lot to cover to get to the next town a big town called utaradit i think that's gonna be about another 45 kilometers I'm not sure if i could get there by the end of the day but the sun's looking pretty good um it's not as hot as it was you know in lampang right there it's just like burning but here it's a little bit you know it's a little bit mild you know because i'm in the mountains and there's a lot of trees as well covering the road so it's it's kind of nice so I think rather than just taking a whole break between 10 and around 3 there, I could probably do a little bit of cycling here and there and then stop, you know, to rest somewhere. So I've made um, noodles. Well, I didn't really 
made the noodles. I just bought the pack <laughs> and boiled them. But what I did this time is put some carrots and broccoli on them as well as some peanuts because I realized that if I carry on buying food in places like this, I will never find any proper vegetables in there. Um, they always sell something with meat and a little bit of garnish or like some leaves, you know, but they're not, they're not proper vegetables. So I'm taking over, <laughs> taking over for the good of my health. Um, Anyway, I'm gonna eat now. What's your name? Some Hong. Some Hong. Some Hong. Carlo. I I I come sleep with you. Yeah.